Oh, but um, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um, and the first topic you talked about, uh, which country I dig over. Um, right. I actually had an experience, something something very close to that. We um, <laughs> some some of my friends online, we got together on um on a game a game called Tabletop uh, Simulator, and we we made our own game, and it was uh like it was it was, took place in um. 2077, I believe it was. And <laughs> so this is future. Yes, far into the future. And it's like we had like a world map and everybody put, put two countries. Did you pick 2077 for uh, because of Cyberpunk 77? No, this is before Cyberpunk. This is, this is a happy accident. No. But um, but everybody like picked their own countries and you'd have to manage your whole country as like a, the country leader. And um, I picked Latin America. I picked the Latin League. It was, it was basically like all of South America unified. Um, and it was my job to manage the Latin League and make sure it didn't like crumble and make sure I, I was able to keep the, the people happy and keep the military strong and keep our borders safe. And um, how I did it was uh, in the beginning, uh, China had a strong uh, grip on my economy. Like all of my economic goods were produced by China and China was being played by. And well, friends. hold on. Back up. In this game, this like in this game, you have a guy that like makes the storyline, right? Yes. So like. You have how many people do you play with? Well, uh, in, in in that game we had five people, I think. And here, the players were um, I was the Latin League. You know? So like just for just for the people that are listening, you, like you you basically made your own board game, yes, but on a computer, yes. and then you have you and what three other people yeah. pick your places, yeah. and then there's like one guy that controls the yeah, story the, the storyboard. Called a GM. He was the, the game master. He would control <laughs> the game happens. master. <laughs> I was thinking general manager. <laughs> <laughs> he controls everything that happens. Um, but it's like if you've uh, played D and D before, then that, that's what it is. But in like a, a strategic game instead of a role playing game. Um, but yeah, we had um we had these countries. And so was, what what keeps him, like, what encourages him to make everything like fair? Just being a good, good GM. No, if, if we didn't, if we, he was so a good he GM. could he could just be like, all right, so these people nuked your entire country. Yeah, he, he could have done that, but we we, we would all have been and then like, you're just kind of done. <laughs> and we would all have been like, that's a dumb. You're you're a bad GM. This guy's our new GM. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> but he was a good GM. He was fair for the most part. I like how you you st- stick with the GM. Yeah, <laughs> it's not game master. It's GM. Yeah, you got to shorten it. Did you give him like a like a little badge? He had in, GM in Discord. He had a a thing that said GM. <laughs> on his uh, profile <laughs> picture and w- was that just like just like what he wanted to do like he yeah. didn't really want to participate he, he in the was, game he's the one who made the entire thing he, he made the, the rules he made the um the map he made the map and everything yeah he made it all his how game, long did that take uh, it took him like like well he said it took like months but he actually only worked on it like one or two days a month no <laughs> so he, he probably could have done the whole thing in like less than a week no, so he just drug it out forever. And yeah. Ever. Um. But he like, but he made this uh this whole um, like world and everything. He had like stuff written down, and um. So the players on the on the world stage was Earth. It was just Earth. I was playing as unified. Was it flat? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the map was. <laughs> and um, I was playing as unified South America. I was called the Latin League. So it's like Brazil took over all the other countries and formed the Latin League. It was a democratic country. Then you had Germany. It was played um, by my other friend, and he um, he was a he started out as like a democracy emperor empire hybrid, like he was he was a constitutional empire I think, and um, like he was having kind of like part fascist part democratic, and um, he had to um, deal with his thing called the Reichstag, the what <laughs> the Reichstag, which is uh, his like his like elect his uh, Congress basically. And we had another guy named um, uh, who was playing as uh, China, and China had literally taken over all of Asia. So imagine all of Asia: Indochina, India, when well, not India, uh, or India was controlled by Germany. Um, he had uh, he had the entirety of China and all. Isn't Ch- doesn't China pretty much isn't China most of Asia already? Yes, but it, like picture actually actually all of, like the entirety of Pacific, um, including Australia. No, 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 wait, no. Australia was controlled by Germany. Because Germany had been the world power. How's Australia controlled by Germany? Because Germany had fought a war against um, the rest of Europe for control of the colonies, and it Australia all. is it is its own thing. Yeah, it was taken over by Germany <laughs> in this world. Because um, the main powerhouses were Germany and China. China had taken over the entire of the East, and Germany had controlled almost all of the West. And um, <laughs> so, but the EU still survived through um, Italy, France, Spain. No, Spain was on Germany's side. Uh, UK, UK. And um, 
what happened was uh, China controlled all of um, Asia and a huge portion of Russia. Russia had been torn to pieces by Germany and uh, China, mainly China. And it was just, it was down to like a small blob next to Sweden. And you were just Latin America. I was Latin America. I was, I was unified Latin America. And one guy was China. And China was special because it was, it was literally like a, a conglomerate. Like it had, there was no government. It was just businesses. <laughs> businesses controlled everything. It's like capitalism at its most severe and horrifying state possible. Because like you, it was separated into like thousands of districts. And in these districts, you'd have um, like managers that would control the entirety of the district, which was, a, which was a workforce. They didn't have a population. They had a workforce. <laughs> Everyone was employed to do something. If you didn't do that job, you were killed on the spot. Really? Yes. And so, so everybody had a quota to meet, and the quota was impossible to meet. And so people died all the time. But people, like the area had so many people in it, like tens of billions of people in it, that it was better if you lose people because you depopulate the overpopulation area. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's like. Okay, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so there was those four big company leaders, and I forget the name of them. Like there were there were names to these company leaders, and um, each one had like a they had a they cornered the market on one thing, and then there was the guy playing China, which was not one of these leaders. He was the guy that, in the actual government who was being told what to do by the leaders, and he was just kind of like <laughs> trying to balance, make sure the country didn't tear itself apart. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he'd, he'd be fair like, enough. Yeah, he'd be like, I, I want to improve public health. And because um, he was the president, technically, but not really. Yeah. And he'd come to the leaders and they'd be like, no, nah, not profitable. And he'd just get shot down. <laughs> not profitable. Yeah. We want our people to live. Nah. No. Never mind. They're not important. <laughs> <laughs> and then you had um, one so guy. So which, which people do you want to live? All of them? Because we don't need all of them. <laughs> uh, only the most profitable people. <laughs> They're all about profit. It was like, if, it was like, if, keep, keep, keep the rich ones. That's yeah. It. Yeah. It was, it, was, it was the most class divided place you could ever imagine. <laughs> if you don't make six figures, you're out. Exactly. Um, and then you had a guy played in Sweden and he literally tried to turn modern day Sweden into a, into the Viking days. He, he, he like, cause you can make your own rules, make your own laws. He made yeah. it a, he made it a law <laughs> where if two people had a, a legal disagreement, they would have a trial by combat. So you would uh, get into a courtroom. You're both given swords, and the person who who uh, won the fight to the death won the legal argument, and they were just free to go. That sounds like my kind of court. Mm-hmm. Give give people swords, just let them fight it out. Yeah, and he, he also made it to where his the leader of the country would be decided by trial by combat as well.